Hey everyone, we are doing a makeup brush declutter today, so I'm going to go ahead and just get started. I have way too many makeup brushes. I know no one usually ever says that, but the truth is I gave myself a blister like cleaning my makeup brushes the other day and I was like, that's it. I got to I got to get rid of some. So, here we go. We're going to go ahead and do this. They are in no particular order. I'm just going to start bringing them over to me and start talking about them. So these are the brand new Moda brushes that just came in the BoxyCharm. I know that BoxyCharm and BoxyLux both got these and these are from Moda and these are so cute and they're super soft and I'm totally keeping these because I haven't even had a chance to use them really. So these are definitely stain. So there's a powder brush and then they're like, this guy's like a highlighter brush. I think it'd be really good to like dust away bake and stuff like that too. So we'll see how long we'll go uh, as my computer is totally sounding like it's gonna take off here. So the next thing I've got is this container here. It's basically a lot of makeup sponges and uh, tiny little brushes that kind of don't fit in my container. These were part of like a Luxie set and these are kind of fun to travel with, which is nice. So I will just go ahead and keep all of those. Um, yes. Although now I have like a makeup case that like folds up and so it's not as bad, but it's still nice to have the little ones. It's just, it's harder to, I don't know where to store them always. So right now they're just hanging out with my sponges, but I'm keeping those. This brush actually comes from Sephora and it is their short handled brush of their um, 56, which is like their foundation brush. And I have to say, I actually think this brush is really good. It was the VIB Rouge. Um, like, you know, when you spend a certain amount at Sephora, they gave you this as like a, a welcome gift to their higher tier. But um, actually, I think this brush is really great. And because of the short handle, it's really easy to travel with this as well. So I really like this brush. I never said I was gonna do a good job, but. <laughs> Uh, this is actually, I can't think it came from a holiday set. It was like a Mac brush. Um, this one's really good for like contouring. I feel, um, yeah, I know that sometimes people say that the Mac holiday collections don't have as nice of quality as the regular brushes, but I still think this brush is still a pretty good one. So I will go ahead and keep this one. And then this actually came from a boxy charm. I'm pretty darn sure. And this is from crown and it's honestly one of my favorite uh, fan brushes because of how large it is and it's super soft and it's really easy to do your highlight or bronzer or um, contour with something like this. I actually really, really like this brush. All right, so what we have in here, we have a whole bunch of makeup sponges and I don't know what happened to this, but it's so discolored and it's like, you see that it dried all funny. I'm definitely letting this go. Um, it's got, it's gotta go. Let's see. This is a really old beauty blender and it's super soft, but I just, I shouldn't hold on to this one anymore. It's probably pretty gross. Um, oh, hey, DDS Hernandez. Good to see ya. I am going through my makeup brushes cause I gave myself a blister while I was cleaning them and now I, I just, I have to get rid of some. So, all right, this is from Thrive Cosmetics and I haven't had a chance to use this one yet. They sent me a sample of their like kind of a CC cream and they sent this sponge along with it. And it's kind of a small sponge, but it does have like that cutout for kind of like, you know, that's good for baking or contouring all that stuff. It's kind of small, but um, I don't know. I'm gonna give it a shot one of these days. So I'll hold on to that one. This, I don't even know where it came from. It's pretty not that impressive, so I don't feel bad getting rid of this, so it can go. This is the original, um, you know, beauty blender. It's fine. I should hold on to that one, so I will go ahead and keep it. Um, this is the Real Techniques. By the way, I don't know if any of you caught that drama that was going on between beauty blender shading all the other, like, sponges out there. Um, I know a lot of people were kind of up in arms about that, and I just... I don't know, man. There's something about, about that that like bugs me because like you can certainly do your thing without having to disparage others, you know, but whatever. Um, the Real Technique sponge is really good. I got it, mine at Ulta, so I'm gonna hold on to this one. And these, this is from the actual Beauty Blender one. I'm so confused by it because you think it's kind of worthless and small, but Apparently it's really good for like your nose contour and your uh, concealer. So I'm gonna give it a shot because honestly I haven't given it a fair shake on that one So maybe I should do that 
And then I have to say, honestly, that the, um, the Morphe sponges, I have two of them here. These are pretty darn good, actually. So this one is more of the, the one that has like the, the cutout on both sides. And then this is that um, like flat bottom here and then kind of pointy at the top here. These are pretty good, actually. So I would hold on to those. Um, this is from Pure Cosmetics. And honestly, I think we got this in a BoxyCharm and it, it had like a couple of different colors. I don't like this one. It doesn't get very squishy. It's too hard. I don't enjoy this one, so it can go. And honestly, I don't know where this one came from, but it looks in pretty good shape, so I'll keep it. Oops. Um, I think this is actually a new one from Moda that I just got recently, so I definitely want to give this one a shot. I don't recall using this or having an opinion on it and came with a set like this guy, um, which is cool how like large it is across the bottom for stamping in and then pointed. I kind of like this shape. So I definitely am curious to try these out. I will hold on to those. And then more original beauty blenders. I'm pretty sure, I don't think this one is a beauty blender, like a real one. And I think I don't really like this one that much, so it can go. The original black beauty blender is probably still my favorite. Um, I just think there's a different texture with this. That's a little bit more firm than the, the old pink one. So I definitely wanna keep the black one and I'll keep this one. And then these are the, the rest of that Moda set. So I want to try those. And then this was actually the little rubber mat that I was using to like, it's got little scrubby um, properties. So I could put my brush on here and kind of swirl it in and get the soap and everything in there. So this was actually really cool. This is from Moda and it's like maybe $5, maybe. And um, I think that's such a, a good way to kind of like swirl your brush in there and clean. And by the way, I don't know if you guys know that, but um, you can always save 10% even off sale price with a code that I have with them. I think it's Shelly Saves. So in case you ever wanna buy some stuff from Moda, I have a code there for you. So that's not so bad. I'm getting rid of these so far. So I am finally making a dent in actually decluttering something. So yay for that. All right. We're gonna move on to some of the larger face brushes. I'm just go through some of these. This one is from Morphe, it's the E41. It's a huge powder brush. Um, I actually really like this brush, so that one is stain. This is from Luxie. I like this one so much. It's that kind of stippled duo fiber one that I use this one for um, blush especially. I love these and the Luxie brushes are such good quality. I'm holding on to both of these. Um, yes, I have two of the same. All right, so this is also a Morphe brush. This is the B1. The B1, uh, B series is not as nice as the E series or the Elite series. Um, this is an okay, like over face powder one. It's nothing to write home about, but it's fine. So I'm gonna hold on to that one. Uh, oh, these are from Shaney, actually. I got a whole set of these uh, when I went to a dinner at Gen Beauty and I really like these brushes. So this is kind of a flat top kabuki. Reminds me of the Sigma F80 one that a lot of people use to put on foundation. So I actually, I like this brush. I will hold on to that one. And this is the Aesthetica P12. I really like this one for bronzer and I've used this one several times because it's just the right amount of flexibility. It's super soft and it's still a little bit rounded. So I think it does a really nice job of kind of uh, bronzing up around the perimeter of the face. And then this set I just got from Moda to try out. They are part of the, um, I think they're so cute. They look like little icicles to me. So this is more of a powder brush and this is more of a angled brush so that you can do it for contour. And I haven't tried these out enough yet to uh, let go of them and I like both of them. So we'll hold on to those This is the R collection um, Set of brushes from Morphe and this is the R2. This one's really good also for bronzer So and blush. I like this one a lot for that It's got a little bit of curve around to it and it's like densely packed as well. So that's good um, This is the Moda pointed blush brush. Actually, I really like this brush and then this is that brush from Sephora it looks really a lot like the one from the VIB. It's just a little bit bigger. I use this one for um, blush sometimes. So that's a really pretty 
I like this brush. Man, I suck at doing a declutter. Okay. Okay, so this is from Borghese, Borghese, something like that. I think it's a Costco brand. Um, honestly, I just use this for tapping in concealer. I don't use it for anything else. And I have a lot of other brushes that kind of do that. So I don't know if I necessarily need to keep this one. And it's kind of thicker, so it kind of takes up a lot of space. So maybe I can let that one go. Yeah, I think so. This is the double-ended uh, one from Tarte, and the powder blush, uh, the powder brush side is nice. I don't use this side that much, and to be honest, I have a lot of like powder brushes, so I don't know if I need to keep this one. Plus, when you store these like upside down, it's like almost impossible to not get the bottom all frayed out from the other side. So this is gonna go in the maybe pile. I don't know if I need to keep this one, honestly. Okay. This is a super old blush brush from like a, a makeup brush set from like eBay or something like that. But I honestly will never get rid of it because it's just the perfect size for blush. Even though I have other blush brushes that I really, really adore, like the one from Pure, the My Little Pony set, it's still, and I, I love the Luxie one, of which I have two, but I still can't bring myself to let this one go. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm like such a hoarder. Okay. And then this is the AOA Studio. Honestly, this brush is a dollar from Shop Miss A, and it's pretty good. Um, I use this sometimes just, but do I really need it? But it's so cheap, but ugh. no, I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it. So that was an utter fail. I... Out of all those, I have two maybes. And I'm still probably gonna keep the Tarte one because it's such a nice brush, I think. But that's neither here nor there. Okay, let's take a peek. We're going into, I have this container that I got from the container store, actually. So I'm gonna do this real quick, dump them out. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is also part of that uh, set from Shaney. And this one's actually really nice and it's got like a nice little angle on it. So it's nice to do like foundation or blush on that one. So keeping, I have a couple of these once when I bought like the Jaclyn Hill set or something like that um, and her favorite brush set or whatever, where it was the, the foundation one, the M439. Honestly, I have two of them, but I'll just keep up. <laughs> okay. I have a couple of the Y5 Y9s, and I like this one for concealer sometimes, or dusting off bake, and this one for blush as well. You know what, I think I'm, am I finally ready to let that other blush brush go? I don't know, maybe, thinking about it. Um, okay, so this is from Crown. This is really good for setting the under eye. Yeah, I like this brush. <laughs> Man, what am I doing with my life? How is this so hard? I don't know why it's so hard. All right, these are from Moda. These are part of their metallic collection and it's part of the foundation brushes. And you can also use it to put on like your BB creams and stuff like that, moisturizer. I really like these brushes and yes, I have two of them. Sometimes you'll see a, a pattern. I'll get two and I don't need them, but it's because like, you know, if some are dirty, then you have another set. Okay, this is also, do I need another fan brush? So I have a really thick one, which I really like, which is this crown one. I guess I could keep this one as part of a, at least they belong together set. So maybe I'll do that. I know I have multiple crown brushes or fan brushes too. So maybe I'll find the others and toss them. Oh, but this one's really pretty. It's from Tarte. Oh, I don't think I've even used this. It was part of the rainforest of the sea one. I can't, I can't let this one go. I'm sorry, I just can't. Even if I never use it. Should I let the other one go, the crown one? I probably should, but, ugh, this is hard. This is so hard. Okay, this is the Morphe M100. I like this one actually for highlighter sometimes. So I know it's a little large, but I like it for highlighter sometimes. And then this is part of that AOA Studio. Honestly, these brushes for a dollar are as good as some of the other brushes that are out here. Um, I'm not mad at them. I'm not mad at these. So I will, I haven't let go really of anything. I feel like such a loser right now. What kind of declutter is this? Okay, 
So maybe this I can let go. This is from Lorac. This came with the contour set. This is supposed to be kind of like the NARS Eda brush where it's like, hmm, am I ready to let this go? Yeah, I think I am just because I have other brushes that can do the contour and when you do this, it gets like a really harsh line. Although this is really good if you're doing it on your nose maybe. No, it's still way too hard. Okay, no, this one's going. Okay, this is the, oh yeah, this is from Bare Minerals. This is part of their like foundation, like where they have the serum foundation and you put it in the little, I don't know if you can see that, there's like a little well in here. And that's where you put like your foundation, like a few drops of it in here. And then you like swirl buff this into your face. But I just never got on with this brush very much. I don't get it. It is soft and maybe I could try it with other foundations, but I just never really got this brush. So I think I can let this one go. Um, okay, so this says precision foundation, but I don't use it for that. I use it for dusting off bake or applying a highlighter. And you know what? I think you should be able to do whatever you want with your makeup brushes. So that one's staying. These are, oh yeah, these are from Makeup Geek and Makeup Geek makes some really lovely brushes and I'm keeping this one. It's the face buffer brush and this is really good for powders, foundations, all that good stuff. More from Shaney. Did I already look at this one? I think I did. I just didn't put it in the thing. Okay. This one is Tattoo Junkie and it came with some of these loose highlighters and this is actually a really beautiful um, for doing contour or like highlighter because it's a little bit angled, but it's still like firm and nice. So that is a really good one. And this is a foundation brush, but honestly, I've got a couple of these now, don't I? The, the, the same? Uh, like the, oh, this was like the Borghese one. Borghese. I don't know how you guys say that. I think I might keep the shiny one and then get rid of this one. Though this one has a really thick handle and this one takes up less space in there between the two. So maybe I'll switch that. All right. This is the Wayne Goss brush and honestly, these are some of the softest brushes I've ever seen in my entire life and they are so dang good. Um, they're expensive as all heck, but they're still worth it. I can't, I can't knock them for that. They're so worth it. Uh, oh, this is that F80, which is like I was saying, the other brush is kind of like that, like the flat Kabuki, but this is from Sigma. Sigma brushes are so good and they have a really good warranty on them as well too. They don't fall apart like some other brushes that I've seen. And I think their, their quality is just really, really good. So I just got this one not that long ago as part of a set and it came with this, where is it? This one where it's kind of like angled I think this one's so interesting where it's kind of like angled on both sides and they say, I believe that it's for um, like setting concealer and stuff like that. So it's like a 3D Kabuki brush. It's, it's amazing. And then, you know what, this, <laughs> this is from e.l.f. the complexion brush. And honestly, this is a fantastic brush for bronzer. And um, yeah, I think e.l.f. has some nice brushes. It's just hanging out there next to the Wayne Goss brush, which is super expensive. Okay, this is from Morphe. This is the R10. This one I use for basically either contour or blush. So I'm going to hold on to that one. Um, angled stippling brush from Makeup Geek. I love these brushes. They're so good. You can use that for cheek. You can use that for whatever. This is the foundation brush from Royal and Ling Nickel, which is part of like the Moda family. And honestly, I use this for applying face creams, moisturizers, um, stuff like that. So I just keep this next to the bathroom sink so that I can um, use face products with this. I never use this for foundation. So I should put that in the bathroom. Oh, here we go. Here's another fan brush. Don't need another fan brush since I've got those other ones. This one's going. Uh, duo fiber powder. I love all of my Luxie brushes. Definitely not getting rid of those. This is again a large tapered foundation. Um, honestly, between this one and the and the other one, I prefer the Royal Ling Nickel. So I'm gonna hold on to this one and get rid of this guy. And then this is the contour. But honestly, I use it for highlight. I think it's really good for that. So I like this brush. Here we go. This is so much like the other Morphe brushes that you talked about. Um, 
This one's softer. And this one I already have two of. So I wonder if I should hold on to this one and get rid of one of these. Maybe. I'll just hold on to it for now. All right. This is another of the B series. This is a B3. Um, the Morphe brushes kind of shed, honestly. Every time you wash them, you kind of end up losing hairs. These are definitely not as soft as some of the other brushes, for sure. And you know what? I think I can let this one go. I'm going to bring the Tarte one back into the mix because the Tarte one is such a better brush than that Morphe one. I'm going to hold on to this one. This is the Cheek Highlighter um, brush, and it's a duo fiber one from Makeup Geek. I really like this brush. And then this is the Rounded blush brush, which I don't use it for that. I end up using it for um, setting like my concealer and everything. So there's that from Makeup Geek. Oh, here we go. So this is from MGS Beauty. And this is, I think, kind of a replacement for that Lorac one. They're kind of like the same distance. But this guy, the MGS, is a little thicker. What's up, Drea? Um, so I think I'm going to hold on to... Gosh. This one's tightly packed and like... You're going to put that on. It's going to be a really harsh line. This one's going to be much softer. I think I'm going to hold on to this one and get rid of this one. You see how my brushes are totally shedding? All right. This is the M530. So this is just a generic all over. It's just a good brush. Okay. I'm holding on to it. I'm holding on to that one. All right. We made some progress. So now out of that round, these are the brushes that are going. Drea, what are you up to tonight? Okay, this one is gonna be, I think, the most scary, honestly. I'm a little scared of this one. I'm a little scared. I'm gonna move this. Okay, so they were kind of organized for um, shape and size, but that just went out the window because of the fact that I just dumped them all over the table. So there's that. All right, so let's just get started. So I guess it still kind of has some semblance, but down here are some of the super teeny tiny ones. Um, so this is a B75, and honestly, it's I use it for carving out my brow with concealer, so that one's actually a really good one. And then this is the super tiny um, B16, which is really good for like doing your um, eyeliner if you're doing that with eyeshadow or that inner corner highlight. So I love that brush. Makeup Geek and let's see. These are liner brushes for eyeliner. These are actually really good, the bent angle ones. Oh, this is part of a eyebrow set. Um, I like to... Basically, I don't know if anyone else does kind of like soap brows where you kind of have a bar of soap and then you kind of, I usually just kind of like rub the mascara wand in it and then brush it through my brows and it kind of will keep your brows locked tight and um, give you some structure there. This brush is so disgusting and gross and old and I think because now I have others that are kind of like it, I can finally let this one go. Like it doesn't even have some of the paint anymore on it. So that's going. This is the Sephora... Um, brow contour it's kind of a little mini fan brush but like a little bit less useful so I don't know it's good for that under brow highlight that's that's the only thing it's it's good for it's stupid to keep that brush probably for that one purpose but I still love it this is from oh yeah the Royal Ling Nickel this is part of the Omnia line and this is part of the brow definer ones but it's a super itty bitty tiny brush and I, I just kind of love it. I don't know if you can see how small and tiny that brush really is. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, it's so good though. I love that brush and it's so pretty to look at. Um, this is from Aesthetica. Again, it's just another spoolie which I keep on hand for the soap brow thing. I have a couple of these honestly. So this is from Wayne Goss. It's the teeny tiny little brush. This is the number eight and so all the same things that I said before. It's just the Wayne Goss brushes. You'll have to pry them from me. Like never, ever getting rid of those. All right. This is from Tarte. This is their concealer brush. It's a little synthetic um, material. It's kind of that dark purple. I remember I got it when I got the um, Swamp Girl palette. And it's fine. It's nothing to write home about. But it's still, it's a good one. 
This is an old Sonia Kashuk, which is sold at like Target. And honestly, this one kind of frays, so you can't really use it as a bent angle liner one anymore. So that one's got to go. This is the e.l.f. Small Angle Brush. Again, e.l.f. can kind of kill it sometimes with some of the brushes that they have, and they're super inexpensive. So actually, that's a really good brush. It's also really good for using in gel liner. This is another one of those really gross brushes that doesn't even have like a, <laughs> it doesn't even have all of its like paint on anymore. Yeah, it's gotta go. These are also from e.l.f. This came in an eye set actually. And so there was a small smudge and a small precision. And um, these brushes are just, they're just fine and they're great. So, and they're really good with like gel liners. So I will hold on to those. Um, again, from Makeup Geek, this is more of their pencil one or small crease brush. So sometimes I find with some of the Makeup Geek brushes that they're just smaller than what they say they need to be. So small crease brush, it is small, but it's like almost too small, but it's okay. This is the MAC 213. This is just a classic like packer, especially for a lot of like shimmers and um, powders like that. So it's a keeper. This is from Aesthetica. This is their version of, I prefer the bent liners more than the straight one. So that one can go. This is a double-ended one that came out of a Bobbi Brown eye set. And I could just put it back in there, but there's an eyeshadow brush on one side and then a liner on the other because it came with the, like a whole bunch of pot gel liners that you could do. Um, so I could just set that one aside and actually put it where it belongs. These are from Alamar. Oh yeah, there was like three of them. They came in a boxy charm. So there was a really good, like a fluffy crease. There was a synthetic and then there was like a under liner. These brushes are really cute and they make me happy. So I'm keeping all of those because honestly, they're so cute. Okay, this is the pencil brush and from it's from Makeup Geek. And I like that it's a little like tapered where it goes like, small to fat here because it's more comfortable to hold in your hand so i enjoy that brush you're gonna see a lot of luxie brushes i love luxie brushes a lot and so yeah pretty much all of them they'll stay there's probably a couple of dupes again or duplicates um so this is both the 215 small angled brush and then this is the uh the mini round brush i'm pretty sure that i got one of these maybe two of these when i went to gen beauty and that was part of the goodie bag. Okay. This is from Makeup Geek as well. It's the dual ended brow brush. Um, comes with the spoolie on one side and the brow on the other. And that one's actually really good. This is from Shaney. And this is the pointed eyeliner. And honestly, it's too long and thick for eyeliner. It can go. It's not great for that. This is the Wayne Goss for the um, eyebrows. And I actually kind of love how large it is, how wide it is, because it makes it really easy to carve out the bottom of the brow with like a straight line. Um, and you don't have to do it a whole bunch of times. So this I love. This is actually a really good one. This is from Crown and they're so smart. They've got like this notch here for your finger as you're doing it. It just feels so comfortable to use these brushes. And this is a really great pencil liner. I love this brush a lot actually. This is a second of that mini round, um, so it's a duplicate. And honestly, it's kind of looking wonky, but wait. This is a mini flat angle. Really? I don't know if I believe that. This one I might be able to let go. Okay. Um, all right, so this is the B72. It's also kind of like a, a tiny little crease brush or too thick for a liner brush, but that one is good, it can stay. This is from Wayne Goss. I will never throw away a Wayne Goss that's still looking good. Again, I will hold on to all of them. Let's see here. More of the Morphe ones, which is, or sorry, uh, the Luxie ones, this in the gold color, which came from a boxy charm. These are the same shape as one of them that I threw away. So I'm okay with throwing away the old one. I'll keep the gold ones. There we go. It's a double-ended Luxie. These are actually really good. I'm keeping that, even though I hate double-ended brushes. This is from Morphe, and this is really good for carving out your brows with concealer. This is really good for doing gel eyeliner or eyebrows as well, so we'll keep that guy. This is the teeny tiny little brush, and I think it's like super old, and I think I can let it go. I think we can let that one go. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure this came with like a L'Oreal or like something eyeliner. It can go as well. Uh, oh, 
oh yeah, this is the 432 from Morphe and this is really good for using as basically eyeliner underneath. Okay, I like that one. This is another of the really old ones that I don't even remember where I got it. That one's gotta go. Okay, all of these that are in the My Little Pony set from Pure, these are heavenly. In fact, I bought a second um, set of it just because I like them so much. They have a, a powder brush and a blush brush. I love all of them. So I'm definitely keeping these and they're so pretty. They're so pretty. That's an angle one. Uh, this is again from Wayne Goss. So to brush out your brows and come through your, there we go, mascara uh, or lashes. This is the Bent Angle Liner Brush, the 263 from MAC. This is actually really a good one. Okay, this brush sucks. This is the Morphe B216. I don't know if you can see it, but it is the most scratchy, like just painful. You don't want this anywhere near your eyebrows or like whatever. Like it's just awful. It's just, it's super stiff. I don't like this brush at all. It's gotta go. All right, so this is another of that Tarte Concealer brush. And do I need two of the same brush? I don't think I do, honestly, because this brush isn't so special. Yeah, I think it can go. Uh, this is from Aesthetica as well. This is part of their eyebrow set. We're gonna keep that one. Um, wait, you're downloading all of your favorite videos in case you get demonetized or terminated for something because of music. What are you talking about? Why are you doing that? Do you have a lot of, oh, are you talking about Article 13 or something? Um, passing? Uh, this is also from L'Oreal. This one has to go. It's old. Are you talking about Article 13 or something else? This is the 165 small angle brush. We're keeping that. Oh, this is a really good one. This is a good pencil brush, and it's also from Royal and Ling Nickel. So those are good. Oh, this is from Shaney again, and this is like a perfect tiny little smudger brush. Um, actually, that's a really good one. Bent liner, and this is from Tarte, and yeah, we'll keep that. This may be one of my all-time favorite brushes right here. This is the super skinny, like very small tapered um, from Omnia. It's this eye highlighter, but like honestly, I've been looking for something like this. Yeah, it's it's so nice. I love that brush. Um, yeah, Article Thirteen. They got terminated? That seems like awfully rare because just because they voted on it, like they still have like two years to implement it. I mean, it's such a, I, I wouldn't freak out about it just yet, but no, I, I get it, I get it. And if anything, you know, you could always do the thing where you just restrict it from playing in certain countries um, until they figure their stuff out. <laughs> So this is a concealer brush and a little triangle. This one's interesting. I haven't played with it a lot, but I want to. All right, you're gonna notice a trend here. We got more of the Luxie eye brushes. Um, I'm not getting rid of any Luxie brushes as long as they're still good. Honestly, I love them. They're staying. They're staying. Uh, this is one, it's a really good Packer one, but it's also one of the ones that is just beat up to all heck. So that's gotta go. This is an old Kirkland um, signature one, which you get at Costco. And honestly, um, I don't need this brush anymore. This is an old uh, Sonia Kashuk, and I don't need this brush anymore either. Although I love this brush for a very long time, so. Oh yeah, the Jessica Liebskin. These are part of a BoxyCharm one, and these are great. There's nothing more to say about them. They're great, they're staying. This is the Illuminator, and that is from, oh gosh, I don't know. That's gotta be a subscription box there. I don't recognize that one. Um, Shaney, honestly, eyeliner, it's kind of thick, so I'm not gonna get a really nice wing with it. I can let that one go. These little brushes are from Pixie, and I got them just recently. And I really wanna try these out more. So you've got more of like a blender and more of a crease and more of like a flat shader. So I definitely want to play with those. Okay, are we making progress? How are we doing? Good gosh. Okay, so these were actually from a BoxyCharm. I remember February um, from a while back. This was 
what I did with my iMovie video that did so well on my main channel. And I will always have fond memories of these brushes. Plus I like both of them a lot. So I'm never getting rid of those. I love those brushes. And they have a special spot in my heart. Shaney, this is a good um, blender brush. I'm keeping that one. Um, this is from Tarte. I'm pretty sure this came from the Swamp Girl palette. So I should just put it inside the palette just so it's there. Again, if it's Wayne Goss, I'm keeping it. Gosh dang it, they're so dang soft. And this is from Lab Just Blending In Brush. This is actually a really good one. I'm pretty darn sure we got this in like, it might even be Ipsy. It might be Ipsy. Okay, this brush is disgusting and gross, but it's an old MAC brush. So I think it's their 224 and I loved it with my whole heart, but I gotta let it go. I got brushes like it now that do the same thing, so. Uh, this is the flat one, the 432. I already know I have this one, but nothing wrong with having a duplicate. This is the flat shader from Bodyography Pro. Those are really good. That's a replacement like for that MAC one that I just got rid of. This is the Morphe um, concealer brush. We'll keep that one. Oh, this is one of the best little inner corner highlight brushes because it's kind of pointed and perfect for that. That's the 213. And then this is from Makeup Geek, and that is the Outer V brush. It's perfectly labeled. That one's really good. This is from Morphe. It's the E18. It's a really good, like, kind of thick pencil brush. Or if you have tiny eyes like me, it's kind of a crease brush. Uh, also from Luxie, they just did a special color. It's the 231 Small Tapered Blending. Yes, keeping it. Old Sonia Kashuk. Don't need this one anymore, although I love them. Oh, these are the rest of those tiny little boxy charm um the luxy brushes that were special for that so i'll keep both of those i love this brush too it's that teeny tiny little fluffy brush um that's the m506 we're keeping you and we're keeping the e17 and we're keeping this do we need this one from shaney anymore i don't know if we do because i have that crown one that i really really love no, it's stain. Um, this is the 138. Honestly, it's, it's just a short ha handled brush that isn't that good from Morphe. That one's got to go. Again, Wayne Goss. Keeping it. It doesn't even matter. <laughs> it's automatically being kept. Um, this is from Crown Brushes. It's a good flat shader. We're keeping. This is the 421, which is their concealer brush. We'll keep that mini flat shader and that's from Royal Ling Nickel. That's a really good one. We're also going to be keeping the Inspire tiny little crease brush there. The fluffy little 514. Honestly, it's kind of splayed out. I don't know if that's the right term. Okay, we'll keep that one. So you are a MAC 224, which is that classic blending brush, but honestly, this is like 10 years old which is impressive for a brush, but I think it may, I don't know, I think it may have served its last brush because it certainly doesn't look like any of the 224s if you buy them now, like they have all their bristles and they look really nice. This does not. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so this is another concealer. I don't need this one, honestly. I have so many of the same type of thing. This is the ID Bear Essential Concealer. I don't need you either. This is the 513, which looks like the one that I just got rid of or kept. Oh, no. Nope, you guys are different. All right. Um, all right. This is a synthetic eyeshader. This is the type of brush that I really like to do a lid color all over, especially because I have a lot of lid space, unfortunately, as a mono lid person. This is a really great kind of brush for that. Um, again, I just got these, so I want to play with those. Pure. My Little Pony set. I love all of these. I'm keeping them. This is a really great, I like to do this sometimes for concealer on my face or like on setting my eyelid primer, stuff like that. That's a really good one. And there's nothing wrong with this brush. We'll keep that. This looks like a brush that I already have, but we're keeping it. The Soft Dome brush from Makeup Geek. We're keeping that. This is the the conceal brush, but in a nicer shape. I like that one. Oh, see you later. Um, this is the 504, which is a little bit thicker. Honestly, I don't know what I use that one for, but we'll go ahead and keep it. Wayne Goss, no question. 
This is also like a concealer brush, but like a duo fiber one. And this is one of those good all over colors. Um, Dome Blender Eyeshadow, that's from Shaney. The duo fiber on this guy. I don't think I know what to use this brush for. I think it can go. Um, it's just a really thick shader. Blush. Um, actually, this one's kind of nice because it's a little flat and wide at the same time. So that's a good one. Oops, goodness. All right, are we getting someplace now? This is just a really good all over, a big fell swoop. So we'll keep that one. And that is another, I think I have multiples of that same brush. This is a really good tiny little shader. Um, so we are tapered blending. And then the SLS Miss Glam. These brushes are really, really nice. I love these brushes, so. And they always have like little jewels in the top and stuff, so they feel fancy. This is uh, from Shaney, it's that Angled Crease Eyeshadow. And we'll keep that guy, the Shaney all over. We'll keep you. This is a Morphe E47, really good for either contouring your nose or putting like um, powder um, next to your eye. This is part of the crease brush from the Pro Collection, I'm pretty sure. Um, those are great. The Wayne Goss Powder Brush and the Makeup Geek, the chisel one, right? Angled Contour. This is from Crown and that's a great brush too. Let's see here. I'm just, at this point, I'm just keeping all of these here. Here we go. Um, I don't think I need this one. This is like an old synthetic one that you could use for foundation. I don't need you. Um, this is more of a pointy one. I don't think I need this either, honestly. And then these brushes don't make that much sense to me, but sometimes I just hold on to them anyway. So this one is from Shaney and this is from Morphe and they look pretty much identical, but one can never have enough crease brushes. Um, 501, this is a really great highlighting brush actually. And again, this is a all over lid color. I love that brush. Yes, I love that brush. Okay, high def. Oh, this is one of the AOA studios. So this brush was a dollar. This is a good one. And this SLS Miss Glam one is also perfect for highlighting and it's just so pretty and purple. Love, love, love. Okay, so this is the E8, which I love for setting concealer and doing um, all that in tiny little work area for your foundation. So good for that. And you know what, we have a kind of, this, you know what though, we're gonna keep, because that is a new brush that we haven't tried yet. And this is the 510, which is kind of like the 501. Oh, and this is a really great highlight brush as well. This is the Highlight and Glow. Let's see here. I love this one as well for that once all over color from just like a nice matte shade. That's the B14. This brush I use for contouring. This is the 160 from MAC. It's probably seen better days, but I just love how it's super precise. And then this is from e.l.f. And I know it says highlighting, but I, yeah, I use it all over my face, but I actually like that brush a lot. This is a big, super like, fluffy brush and you could use this for highlighting as well and that's from Moda. Okay, so that is this <laughs> and I think we just have a couple left. So these are the brushes that came, I got these for cheap like off Amazon at one point. First of all, this one was not. This I bought from Nordstrom, it's the Artiste brush. It's the smoke oval one and it's densely packed so you can use it for foundation makes putting on foundation a breeze totally love that this one is too large and it's from my makeup brush set that was cooper thanks cooper um this one can go this i use actually to put on my lip products it's the 316 i don't know why it's with those brushes um so i have a whole bunch of these little paddle brushes one of them came from crown and it's kind of like a dupe to the artiste one so that one's kind of nice and it comes with a little holder as well. So that one will keep this brush. It's like a little flat synthetic and I don't think I need that. This one as well, they're too large. You can't like use these effectively and it, they just don't feel that great. Um, this is kind of a good one for either doing your contour, but really for 
like lining up with translucent powder next to your eyes or setting your concealer underneath your eyes. That's a really good one, that's from Moda. And when it comes to all of these tiny brushes, I know you can use them in different ways, like for your lips, for your eyeliner, for contour and blush, but to be honest, I never do, never. So I just don't feel the need to keep these, honestly, and I think I can let all of them go. They're going, and you guys are going too. Sweet, okay. So let's look at this real quick. So these are all the brushes that I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of, and I feel really good about it, even though I didn't get rid of as many as I wanted to. Um, it's still progress and I'll keep working on it, but um, I wanna say thank you so much for hanging out with me if you're still here and appreciate you, and I will see you in a declutter very soon. Then if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, all right? Okay, bye.